Hey everybody! Lots and lots and lots of good things today. Let's see. Um. I have never done this like with StreamYard, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> first, you are first. Woot woot. How are you? How are you? I'm excited for today. Ever since last week when we did that uh, see, uh, chain time challenge like for a minute how many chains you could make were you here for that how is everybody Ooh, you're working on a poncho that's awesome i am i just found some really i don't know i can't say i just found it because i've had it Oh, well, I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad you're here today. Um, I just found some really like, and I'm probably dating myself, but that's all right. The gray hair does it too. And I'm, I just realized how horrid I look. I got outside today. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're here. But I found this reminds me of the 80s. Okay, like 80s, 90s with the bright and the colorful and the fun. So I'm going to be making some, uh, something. I, I, I don't know. I want to make myself like a little cardigan or something like that. It's pretty cool. I've got, I don't know if you can see down. Well, I don't know how to turn that off. Anyway, I've got some, I picked out a bunch of colors to go with it. So I'm going to alternate it because I only have three of these and there's really not very much there. So. I'm a big girl. I, um, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But I need more. I need more. So, um, there's six of you here. I'll tell you what. The reason that I did StreamYard today was so that if you want to come on screen and join me, because I know like last week I realized I don't have to stop crocheting in order to talk. But y'all do. So I was thinking I can only do, I haven't actually paid for the subscription to upgrade StreamYard. I just wanted to see how it worked first before I did that. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm balling on a budget. Anyway, but I wanted to see if this is something that you guys would want to do. If you want to come on, let me know because I can have six people join me right here on the live. Anybody down? I can get the link for you. Hold on. Let me get that link and I'll actually put it. Hmm. All right. If anybody wants to hop up here, come on. Come and join me. We can chit chat all together. What y'all think? All right. I understand. That's fine. We can still chat this way. I just know that some people are cool with it. Some people aren't. So I just wanted to give anybody the option. Um, but yeah, we're, we're good on that. You know, when I started this, I started this last night and I don't know. I was doing half double crochets, but I don't like how that looks. So I'm actually going to frog it and do something different. It's fine. Oh, you don't? Really? I don't know. I was really super nervous, to be honest, about showing my face and, and talking. I On videos... I find videos much more difficult than I do like live streams. I love live streams because I don't know, I guess there's feedback and people talk and it's wonderful. 
Lisa, let's see. Let's add you to the stage. What's up, Lisa? <laughs> I figure I'd help you with uh, showing I'm not afraid to get on here. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm not so even excited crusade. to have like you last here. Week, I'm stuck working late again. <laughs> oh no! Well, you know what? That's a blessing. Hi. Okay, Marty. I'm getting a little bit overzealous, but it's fine. We're fine. Yeah, I. You know, you working from home is a blessing. So I'm really glad you're here. That makes me so happy. So very happy. Yeah, I can't deny it's my own fault this time because I decided to sleep in this morning. <laughs> so you get to set your own hours too? <laughs> lucky girl. I'm really lucky, lucky that way. Lucky girl. Yeah, I am really lucky that way. Why? You haven't done a video in almost but, a year. I have a hard time with videos because it's like, I'm sitting there and I'm recording <laughs> in an empty room talking to myself. Now, listen, my daddy always told me that it's okay to talk to yourself. It's even okay to answer yourself as long as you don't say, huh, that's a problem. <laughs> but mm, it's I don't uncomfortable. Agree. You say what? You say, huh, all the time? <laughs> yeah, I tell myself, huh? What were you thinking all the time? Girl. Wait, Embrace what? the loca. It sets you free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I have a hard time with videos. I'm getting better at them. But, um, yeah, I much prefer the live. I much prefer the live. Expert opinions. That's what I'm saying. He, <laughs> oh, no. My daddy was something else. But he always used to tell me, talking to yourself is literally the only way you can ensure an intelligent conversation. Like, if you really want to talk to somebody on your level, it needs to be yourself. Because you're guaranteed to get a good conversation every time. You can talk to yeah. your spouse, but, you know, they Charlie Brown you and don't listen. Well, I don't know. I don't have one of those. So, yeah, it's it's just me. Me and my yarn. I talk to my yarn all the time. I cuss at it a lot. When it hey, does I talk to my right. cat all the time. <laughs> He's great company. Yes. He is the matter. He sits in, in my desk, and I kid you not, everybody considers that to be his work cubicle, and he is the morale oh. officer for work. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have gotten zero crochet done all week. It's just been a crazy week this past week. And I'm going, okay, the solar eclipse is past. So maybe this next Maybe this you can year. actually get some stuff done, right? I'm hoping. I, just, I went through and redid. I'm, I'm not working anymore, unfortunately. So I went through and redid my whole schedule as far as like planning time for like my pattern designs, which I really wanted to. Hey, Stephanie, um, if you want to come up, you're more than welcome to. Let me post it again. I don't know if you were here when I posted. I can have six people come on with me today. I'm super excited about that. You know what? I wonder if. Can you pin a comment? I don't know how to. To be honest, I don't know how to hi I I I don't know. I don't know how to pin them in StreamYard. This is a whole new platform for me. I'm not used to it. Um, but I thought about doing like I thought about doing Zoom, but I haven't paid for that either. And I know last week we went like two and a half hours and I in I think there's a limit, like 40 minutes on Zoom. Unless uh, you pay for the professional version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm not put, look, I'm balling on a budget, especially yeah. now. So, yeah. I mean, I don't mind putting my money into something that will help me kind of connect with you guys because I'm really digging this uh, <laughs> community, this connection thing, right? But I want to make sure it's right before I actually do it. Hey, you're 
back. Welcome home. Nadalia, three baby. Wait a minute. A piggy pot. I want to see the piggy pot hold. I love pigs. Like, I collected pigs my whole life. I love them. Look, I made, <laughs> I made key rings. Hold on. Oh, how cute. And I got another one. Um, Come on, some of the rest of you, jump up on here. It's not that scary. Yeah, yeah, send me a picture, please. I don't know if they oh, let you do that. That one's really cute, too. Yes, the flying pig is like my logo. Because <laughs> you know when pigs fly, right? It's it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. We've all just dated ourselves if we know that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Um, I've got my email on the on the channel. In the, the, I don't know what do they call that. Boy, I sound so knowledgeable, don't I? The description thingy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I sound super knowledgeable. Wow, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay. Hey, my oh. people, it's not that scary. I, I I can tell you from this from from here anyway in my home that Marty doesn't buy. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and if I do, you know, I nibble a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> it's certainly not getting bit from here. <laughs> today we're good because my teeth aren't really locked down all the way today. So I oh. yes, in the about section, woot woot. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that. So I'm trying to, I've never made like a cardigan or like a sweater or something like that. I call it sweaters. I guess they're called cardigans. I don't know. Like, you know, I, for lack of a better way to put it, you know, like the, uh, what the heck do they call that for crying out loud? I grew up with them being called sweaters, not cardigans. Yeah. Mr. Rogers had one all the time. He had one for home. Yep. Like, yeah, that's that's me. And I and I want a funky one. So I'm gonna make me an 80s style funky one and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Lisa. You're just looking like, oh goodness. Uh, I'm going everything? back and forth. I actually have two screens right here and then the cpu over there and i have a laptop over there because yeah sometimes i need everything but to, i'm just working on something that's really t relatively mild but i have to go back and forth looking at these things going, which is this which is that what's this is to say making sure that they match So I used to crochet all the time. And then I went to, I'm sure some of you have run into this. I, the local yarn shop that we had here was very, a uh, little bit nose in the air about crocheters. And so I got started with knitting, which I used to knit. I just never liked knitting as much as crochet. And I got to doing all this knitting and kind of forgot all about my crochet and recently kind of have refound my love of crochet and going, oh, it feels so good to be back to doing crochet. It's just, I think, much more relaxing and enjoyable than knitting. <laughs> really? I want to learn how to knit, but it, it's a little intimidating for me because like I have, I don't know, I just am starting though. I'm still a newbie when it comes to crochet. I, I love it. I absolutely love it, but I. So I all of know. your crochet you learned off of YouTube. I did, I did. You, um, you know, there's a big advantage to that, huh? I think that's a big advantage. Uh, YouTube is, it really is, because I like. My mother tried, <laughs> my whole life, to teach me, 
and I just never picked it up. And I think it's because I had that mindset of, you know, crochet is an old ladies thing. <laughs> Only old ladies crochet. Well, I have old lady taste, so I've always had that. So I'm fine with that. The biggest problem I had is with, I always got so frustrated with patterns. So I tended to make a lot of the same things because patterns were extremely frustrating until, do you remember when Australia caught on fire and they were looking for people to crochet for the Joey pouches and stuff like that right before yeah. all the other stuff happened in 2020? Fire, but I didn't know they were having yeah. people crochet. I think that's awesome. I can, saw a thing where they were looking for that and I they had patterns in both uh they had patterns in Europe, European format and in American format. And I realized when I looked at the two patterns, what my problem has been all these years is my grandmother taught me to crochet using the European terms. So what I thought of as a double crochet was not what in America was a... <laughs> It is like, a bit okay. different. So at least you and didn't I have that. that too, because uh, without YouTube, I wouldn't have known that. Matter of fact, I learned how to read patterns. I uh, complicated knots, to be honest, taught me how to do that. Because when she does her tutorials, it's all she writes it down, and so I just kind of took it from there. Mm -hmm. like I, I don't know. I love that girl. One day I'm gonna meet her. I'm totally going to fangirl. I know I am. Your attempted homemaker says that your e email is not in the about section or the video description. She's got that in the chat. Oh. I wonder why. Maybe you can just put it in the chat. I am. Sorry about that. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm excited. Now I gotta go check that out. Let's see if I can see if I can see if I can see it. I love pigs, though. Oh, my goodness, I do. I love them. Matter of fact, I love them so much. When my granddaughter was born, I called her Piggy. And my mother, <laughs> she was so frustrated with me. She's like, don't do that. Don't call that girl a pig. I'm like, um, it's a term of endearment in my book. So her name was Forevermore Piggy. She's going to be forever my piggy. I don't know. My grandson, I call him Pudge. <laughs> He's a little fat, pudgy little thing. Got it, got it. Nadalia, you said you grew up thinking that sweaters for were for us and cardigans were for rich folks. I, You know what? I think it is one and the same. It's just different names. Right. But I didn't know what the heck a cardigan was. I had no clue what it was. I'm like, oh, you mean a sweater? <laughs> well, right. Yes, yeah, because there's a there's just your sweater, a button sweater, and then you have your pullover sweater. They're both sweaters. But yeah. they use sweater for the pullover and cardigan for the other, which yeah, it took me forever, but I, I'm gonna blame it on Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Okay, because it's just a freaking sweater. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to go check that in here in just a second. Uh, come on, Marty. I told you I cuss at my yarn all the time. You know, I'm trying to wait... 
for people to come so that um, we can do this uh, time. I've been looking forward to this time challenge literally all stinking week. Has anybody else been looking forward to that? Or is it just me? No? Poor Marty, all alone. I know. Sad and lonely and stuff. Uh, hopefully somebody else will be brave and come up on the stage with you. That's all right. Not, I knew not everybody wants to be on. And that's okay, too. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I think it's just been a crazy weekend. The time challenge was last week we did, we set the timer for one minute. And we did a um, how many uh, chains can we make in a minute? And I think I got 63. I don't know. This was my thing. And I was upset. Like, I was kind of discouraged. It was fun. It was so fun. I thought I would have done more. But I want to see if I can do more today. But I also want to do um, single crochet, too. So I want to see how many chains and then uh, rewind and see how many single crochets. Does that make sense? Like <laughs> double the challenge, double the fun kind of thing. I'm who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Marty's goofy. Goofy, goofy. <clears throat> Are y'all going to join me or am I on my own? Yes. Oh. Okay. That makes Stephanie, sense. Stephanie, you can still join us for a few minutes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm I with it. Mess up when I try to go fast. Nadalia, woot, woot. Am I saying your name right? Like, I know I probably asked you that last week too, but I have a bad habit of murdering names. So. You'll try. That works for me. That works. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on now. I'm going to get it. I'm getting it. <gasps> oh, that's cute. And I got to, I got to make me one. And that's from bag a day. Really? Nadilla. Okay. All right. Nadilla. I'm going to try to remember that. Um, if I mess it up again, I'm so sorry at a time. Nadilla. Uh, such a pretty name. Nadilla. You're going to join me. Woot, woot. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to do that this week because got to have bigs. Got to have a big <laughs> ah! And my roommate's going to be like, seriously. Because, I mean, it's fine. Right? Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. If you like pigs, you like pigs. Remember when cows were the rage? Everybody had the little heifer cows in their kitchens and stuff. Yes. My niece is still into those. Although she is kind of a snob. It's Highland cows. Not just any cow. Oh. It's got the Scottish ones, huh? Because it is, yes, because it is different. Which, I mean, I can't. Okay. They are cute. They are cute. They're little shaggy heads. Yeah. Yes. So, well, we don't have too many people, but I say, look, you want to do it now? The timed thing. Lisa, are you going to join us? I can't. I'm working. I don't even have my crochet with me. It's in the Aww. other room. 
Okay. But look, Geese attempted homemaker says, Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, and the dressing I, up the geese remember dressing up all the geese all the different outfits that's right but that was about well i don't know was it before or after i remember the 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 doll do you remember cupid dolls y'all you're ready okay i need to get ready i need to get ready let me do my one more double crochet and then I'm going to stop and we're going to do it. We're going to do I've the done darn something thing. just to show people. Do you know you can join Marty up here and have your camera turned off and see if she can just hear oh, you. Oh, yeah, you can. can. So I thought Hello. maybe some people might want to join if they realized you don't have to have your camera on. Oh, that's awesome, Lisa. Thank you. Yes. Y'all hop on up here. Let me know if you need the link again to join us. You don't even have to have your camera on, but it would be wonderful to hear your voice. Wonderful. Okay. Where's my, oh yes, right here. Oh, get off, get off. Are y'all hearing me okay? All right, let me make my little uh, thing. All the right, timer. give me a drum roll if you're ready. Nabil, <laughs> I think it's just me and you. Let's see who the winner is. That's right. <laughs> Our, ooh, I can't start yet. <laughs> All right, do we have drum rolls? with dinner and TV going. It's loud here, but you're ready. All right. Okay. I'm going to do a countdown. I'm going to tell Siri because Siri is, that's that's my girl right there. She, she's my accountability. Hey, Jen. Woo -woo. We're doing like a timed thing like we did last week. If you want to join us. Hey, is it your birthday today? Jen. I know there's like a delay on the chat. No Wednesday. Okay, the party is tomorrow. All right, cool. Cool beans, cool beans. Well, I will see you tomorrow. And um, happy early birthday. All right, are y'all ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Siri set the timer. Here we go. I wish I had that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Jeopardy music. I think I might find some for next week. All right. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Set a timer for one minute. One minute. Here we Starting go. now. <laughs> I lost track. I lost track of my count. Ugh. Oh no. All right, just keep it moving, Marty. It's fine. Just keep it moving. It's good. Oh man. What a pain in the hind. Hearts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come on. Come on, just come on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here we go. Time. <laughs> Stop. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta count because I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I did worse today than I did last week. Mm. Oh, no. 
OMG, how many did you get, Nadilla? <laughs> oh, 15 doubles. Got forty three. That's twenty less than last week. <laughs> That's horrid. Horrible. Now I gotta practice because like seriously. <sighs> it happens. So, Marty, are you one of those people that needs to go through and check to make sure everything's just right? I am. I am. I'm not. I, am I make not. a mistake. Now, with knitting, if I make a mistake, it's a problem a lot of times. But if with I crochet, make, if you make a mistake, nobody will notice is what I keep saying. And I keep all going the way out and do it because they might not know, but I know. Oh, not me, man. I say that's how you know it's homemade. Of course, with crochet, you know, it's only made by hand anyway. But when it comes to knitting, a lot of times there's mistakes in there. And people are like, well, what happened here? Everything's so, you know, and then all of a sudden you got this weird thing. I said, That's how you know it wasn't done on a machine. Oh, wait, this is true. <laughs> That's the rest oh, of I know. I think what got me is I'm using, this is a 5.5. And I usually do like a 3.5 or a 4. So maybe that I'm going to say that's what it was <laughs> because <laughs> just because that like strokes my ego just a smidgen. You know, hook is the problem. The hook that is it that's got to be because it's heavy, right? Can we do it over? Like, <laughs> can we do a redo? I don't see why not. It's your show, Marty. If you want to do a redo, what do you redo. think, Nadilla? Should we do a redo? You can get a nine millimeter and I'll go down to a three point five. What do you think? Jen, are you help are you helping? Are you doing this too? Do it. <laughs> Yay. See, I'm digging it. Watch this. I say do a redo. That was just a practice run a to make dog. sure everybody knew how the how it worked. There you go. Yeah, that that that's it. That's it. I I, I I'm I'm digging that. Yes, and I love the joy of a good frog. Y'all check this out. And this is gonna be. I want you to look. Do you see how nasty that is? This is the first crochet hook that I ever bought. It is over a year and a half old now. And it looks like that because I realized they're cheap hooks, okay? And it kept coming out mm -hmm. when I was trying. To, my tension is uh. so tight that I have a hard time getting it in and then back out. Frogging is satisfying. Yes. Well, I put super glue in it. What I didn't realize when I did that was that there's little holes right there. And the super glue went everywhere. It's all over my desk. And um, the super glue collects stuff and you can't get it off. So it's ugly oh, no. as sin, but um, it's still my favorite. Marty, hook it might be time to treat yourself to a new one of those hooks. No, so <laughs> I bought I bought some new hooks, but they're off the the little oh, it's not disc. sized correctly. Well. I don't, it's just twisted a little bit. So it catches the yarn. Like, is that a normal thing? Like, is that something that I need to, it's because they're cheap. Did I get lucky with these? Cause these are perfect. <laughs> they have. <laughs> if it works, it works. That's what I'm saying. It works well. Right. But if it ever did break, I would cry. I would literally cry like a baby. Okay. 
And besides, from here, nobody can tell what your crochet hook looks like. Well, that's good because I use it in my tutorials too. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's fine. We're fine. It's all fine. Like, it's okay. Everything's fine. I promise. Fine. I, um, when I say balling on a budget, oh, I totally mean it. This is just because this is my favorite and I love it. So, Stephanie, Are you guys I redo it next week. Yes, maybe for a little bit. Be safe on your way to your thing and have fun. All right. Nadilla, let's do this. Let's do this. And anybody else that's going to join too, I'm going to reset that little timer. All right, good. I'm going to see you next week. I can't wait. I cannot wait. All right. Y'all ready to do this re re? Do practice run is over. over. Time for the real thing. That's right. Pra that was practice. And we're going to put this away. All right. <clears throat> hey, Siri. Uh -huh. Set a timer for one minute. One minute. Starting now. Oh, there you go. Sweating is right. Okay, stop. Okay. All right. Well, I did better this time. I don't know how much better, but I did better. It's all that matters. I got 60. I got 60. Well, that's better for sure. It is. It is. Last week, I think I got 63, but that's okay. We're good. You got 56. That's all right. We got practice. We got practice time. We both did so much better. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Same 15 doubles. So you're doing double crochets? I want to do double crochets. Woot woot. Now I want to try single crochet. <laughs> you down for single crochet timed? I said doubles. When did I say doubles? I was doing chains. Oh, <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Should we set the timer for do? Oh, you said doubles. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. <laughs> I'm confused. Can we do a time for a uh, single crochet? Are you going to do it on the num the stuff you just chained? Uh-huh. Yeah. And if I run out of chains, I'll just double back around. 
What do y'all think? I say go for it. Nadilla, you down? Jen, you down? I got 60, so I'm actually going to chain one for my turning chain. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Woohoo! All right. Not you? Okay. Are you going to do doubles instead, Jen? I mean, let's just. One of you can do centrals and the other one doubles. Right. Are sin so you That's guys right. could do it different. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, hey, Siri. Uh huh. Set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. All right, single crochet. I think this is going to be a lot less e than my chains. I am so slow when it comes to crochet. <clears throat> Honestly, that's why I never really wanted to make, like, I like making things that I use or that my family will like, but as far as, like, selling products, I never really wanted to do that because it just doesn't, for me, really make a lot of sense because I'm so slow at, um, well, making things. And then uh, my income is still dependent on time and i don't know i'm getting too old for that crap because it's really no different than i guess oh man it's done i'll be right back okay oh man i got one I got 16, 16 single crochets. <laughs> yep, that's me. That's what I did. Okay, so <laughs> I am so slow. So very slow, but it's okay because practice makes makes better, right? I, I don't even want to go for perfect, but hey, hey see, you're getting there. 16 is a lot better than 15, I say. Anyway, I think so. I think so. Sixteen is good. I'm proud of you. I'm back. And look what I got. See? I got a coffee cup that says something very I'm done with work. <laughs> yes. I crochet so I don't kill people. Save a life, send yarn. Oh, yes. I crochet so I don't kill people. That's right. That's why I also drink what That's I'm hard. working on. It's going to end up being it's going to end up being an infinity cow. Right. And it's really light and lacy because I'm making it mostly for decoration. I have a friend who lives in Florida. She doesn't need an actual cow. <laughs> it's warm enough down there. Yes. She don't need one. But she's always saying, oh, you should make me something. So I'm making one for her that's simply to that's really pretty. What yarn is that? Uh, it is Red Heart Unforgettable. Uh, I'm, 
da, da, da. it's four weight okay maybe that's not the name of it but because then there's a in another language that i cannot read i can barely read english uh, <laughs> just saying i'm not gonna lie they put all these other languages on here but is this it this is, is red hard really and it's uh four It's a four weight. Is yep, it really soft? Weight. Those colors are beautiful. It is really soft. I have two skeins of this that I found in my stash. I don't know where the heck I got it from. I suspect, knowing me, that at our our fiber arts group, we routinely do uh, yarn swaps. And I swear all we do is, is end up with more yarn. Unless one of the college students is there, if the college students are there. College students are always broke. You know, they're almost always willing to take, some, you know, the stuff. And then we have one girl named uh, McKenna that we're always saying, McKenna, how much room do you have under your bed? Don't you want the rest of this yarn that nobody else seems to want? <laughs> you said you have some storage room under there, right? You want this. You'll figure out something to do with it. It's what we do after every time. Oh, Lee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy, you know, I've never worked with a cake. Like, I've always had skeins. It's different. I need one of those, you know, things. Oh, the winders? Yeah, the just you can set it on and so that it just... Mm -hmm. yeah. I have one, but I can't ever get it to function properly. I make my husband do it because I don't know why, but I end up making a big mess out of it. And he even, we even got one of the cheap plastic, you know, those things that you put your hanks on. They yeah, kind of, I think remind me of it out. The, you know, that you kind of put it on the hank on when you have a hank, not a, not a skein, mm -hmm. but you have a hank. And then it goes it goes round and round as it unravels too. We have one of those, but we got the cheap one out of made out of plastic. Yeah, that works so much better than putting it on the back of a chair. <laughs> but that's what we do. I you make can him pull do it from the middle of these two. Attempted homemaker, will you please do me a favor? And I know I should probably already know, but what in the world is your name? It's a Swift. Oh, that's what she was talking about. The the thing that's called a Swift, right? Okay. Just I didn't yes. know. And you just asked her name. Her name is there. Attempted Homemaker. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I attempted okay, being a homemaker for years. I was <laughs> never very good at it. This is why I'm single now. <laughs> Karen, okay. Hi, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> attempted. I, I did attempted. Okay. So, I got a question for y'all. I have a thought. And I've been had a thought for a while, but I wasn't really sure how to go about asking. So I'm just going to ask. And if it nothing comes of it, then that's fine too. It's just, well, I was wondering if there was anybody who would be willing to let me interview them. Yes, for a video, but mostly because like everybody's crochet journey is different. Everybody started in different ways. Everybody learned in different ways. And what I think that's a, the one thing that I love about crochet is that everybody gets something different from it. Does that make sense? Um, I get many things from crochet. Uh, it really depends on my mood, actually, because there's lots of those moods, I mean. So 
would anybody be willing to do that? Like interview with me so I can pick your brain about your crochet journey? Where you've been, how you got where you're at, what you love most about it. Runs out of the room. <laughs> Karen, <laughs> I'm a big girl, baby. We don't I just saw what she wrote. <laughs> I don't want you to run out of the room because, like, it's not that serious. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So, Karen's definitely not down for that. Okay. Which I kind of figured because you, you did say you were scared of being, you didn't want to be on camera. So... I'm cool with that too. I'm Believe cool it or not, I'm a natural introvert. I just occasionally have to pretend to be an extrovert. <laughs> I yeah. If you're with a group of people you feel comfortable with, you can you kind of get that way. That's right. And you know, I can tell you guys are all like me, a little on the crazy side. Yes. Well, crazy comes in many forms. But mm -hmm. I mean, y'all are my kind of crazy. <laughs> I tell my husband all the time, I'm delightfully crazy. Some days, some days, not so much. I don't think. Not he me. may think that, but I don't. <laughs> Karen, just let me know whenever you're ready. I don't want to push nobody into anything. It's just an idea that I've had for a while because, like, I know that when I first started, I would have loved you know what, let me just stop myself. Er, I digress. I still, to this day, like if I saw a video about somebody's crochet journey, where they came from, where they're going, where they want to be, what they get out of it, that kind of thing, I would totally watch it. I would binge watch it because it's it's interesting to me when when multiple people from various different backgrounds um come together with with one thing and how many different ways that it i don't know we <laughs> that's right we don't suffer <laughs> hey it's okay it's okay i'm in my own little world and they all know me here so it's good it's good we're good Hey, I'm a native Yankee, and since I've been in the South, one of the things I have learned in the last What's that? It, you 25 years is just, you know, go ahead and sit on the front porch with your crazy. Who cares? That's right. Flaunt it, own it. Did I do that right? I think I did. And I think Karen might be amongst us. Yes, that's all right. I like her. Her kind of crazy is my kind of crazy. My rocking chair. You know, when I, <laughs> when my kids were growing up, I told them I was one of those, I don't know, no holds barred moms. But I told them that I could not wait to have grandkids. So, and I wanted a circular porch. And I even designed, I told them exactly the design that I wanted for my, my walking cane, my walking stick, um, because I wanted a circular porch so that I could swing it and have my grandkids jump off of it when I tell them, go get my teeth that are sitting in a jar right next to, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think I will ever do that, but I used to tease my kids about that. They were like, oh my gosh, that's so gross. But it's fine. You said rock and chair. And that's literally the first thing that I got in my head was me sitting on my rocking chair in my circular porch, swinging my walking stick. <laughs> it's for good. You know what? This stuff is so soft. I don't know where in the world. It's like red heart tweed or something like that. 
Hey, hey, Noni Pannoni. Ah, good morning, sunshine. <laughs> you can join us up here on the stage. Yes, come join, come join. Here, I'll even put the link back up here. <laughs> hey, flamingos are not tacky. <laughs> I got the I got the gnomes. I'm down with the gnomes. I love gnomes too. Yes. I can have four more people come up with us so that we can all chat and talk together. So please, by all means, come and join us. Why are yours going to be tacky? Are you going to go and put like skirts or something on them? Something and crochet those poor little flamingos some skirts or something to make them look tacky? What are you planning on doing? Oh, All right, Jen. Well, thank you hi. for coming. 12 foot squat. Did you mean skeleton? Oh, floppy. Oh, floppy. Floppy. <laughs> you, <dude. laughs> I think that would be cute. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. Jen, I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your supper time. Yes, that the skeleton. You've got a 12 freaking foot skeleton. Do you know I would probably pee myself? Like literally. So one of the Halloween skeleton things? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Children of every season. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. So kind of like a skeleton that stays in your yard like all year long. All right, Jen, have fun. I will see you tomorrow. Jen's birthday party is tomorrow. Happy birthday. Costco sold them. That's really cool. So then you can decorate them for every holiday, every season, and it just stays in your yard, right? It's the new version mm -hmm. of the, the geese that we used to always have in our front yards. <laughs> My mom had a pig like that. Not in her yard, but in her house. Yeah, put a Santa hat on it. That's what I'm talking about. Woot, woot. <laughs> Give it an Easter basket. It's past Easter now. What are we going to... What's the next holiday? Memorial Day? No, it's May the 4th be with you. Okay, then she needs to go get a, a lightsaber. A lightsaber? Yeah. And hello? Huh? May 5th is Cinco de Mayo. You know, okay. heck, no way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the fluffy, pretty skirts with all the colors. <laughs> you know, oh, my gosh. So, May is actually <laughs> Amiguru May. Amiguru May. I got big plans for Amiguru May if I can actually get it to pull together right. Does anybody else here do Amiguru Me besides me? Canada, Canada Day. So Canada Day. Where is Canada Day? When is Canada Day? I'm sorry. So she's gonna put a toque on him. Tim Horton's coffee cup in his hand. <laughs> Yay! Ooh. Who's Tim? I'm Tim Hortons is a is a coffee brand, and I think it's oh. like a kind of like a 
can't think of the word restaurant or something like that. You know, one of those rest stop things that you can go to, but they got, they went from that to all kinds of stuff, I believe. It's if like Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Donuts. Okay. okay. Okay, so Canada Today is on July 1st. So you're going to put a toque on that on the poor skeleton? A what? That's what they call a beanie. <laughs> oh. Wow, I feel very dumb tonight. Hey, I wouldn't know that except one of the girls that comes to our group uh, does. Uh, she's from Canada. Sure, why not? <laughs> Wait, Nadilla, you're in Georgia? Me too. I'm in Texas. Where at? Uh, I am over by uh, Bryan College Station, not too far from Texas A&M. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what anymore. that even is. If you draw a line between... Waco, Waco, and Houston were like right in the middle. Uh, yeah, okay. but Texas is so big that right in the middle is kind of, <laughs> you know, we could put Rhode Island in here a couple of times before. <laughs> I'm actually a native Iowan. Iowa? Mm -hmm. That's where I'm originally from. All right. I'm native, native Idahoan, but I'm in Georgia now. I've been in Georgia for several years. Came to Georgia for a visit, was here for like two days and decided I wasn't going home. <laughs> I've been here ever since. Did you decide you didn't want to deal with snow anymore? That's how I ended up here. Well, no, dude, I, I got here and it, was the first place that I've ever lived. And I've lived all over the country, but it's the first place I've ever felt like I was home. Ah. If that makes any sense. And I wasn't getting ready to give, I wasn't going to give that up. My family thought I was out of my mind, out of my mind until my daughter got here. And then she's like, oh, say the S word. What's the S word? What did I say? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> What did you say? I'll spell it because it's a bad word. S N O W. Oh, <gasps> that. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm like, glad I don't have to deal with that anymore, though. We moved okay. around a lot and I came down here for my job. But when we, my dad worked for the government. So we moved around a lot as, when I was a kid, all over in the Midwest and various areas and such. And, I don't know. My husband come in one day. We at the time were living in Indiana. Yeah, my husband come in and he's like, he just shoveled all that, you know, stuff out so that our driveway was open. And then the snow plow comes through. And I don't if and you've not had to deal driveway. with it. If you're yeah, if you have not dealt with a snow plow, you really don't understand that when they no. come through, what they pile up in front of your drive. And that mountain is not like the rest of the snow. It's, no, hard. it's hard and, and, and packed. And it's yeah. And it's like near chunks of ice. With, yeah. And you got to go back out there and shovel it. And he came back in after just <laughs> and had to go back out and do it. And he says, we need to move someplace warmer. <laughs> and at one yeah. point, the two of us had I lived know. in New Mexico. And we actually were trying to go back to New Mexico and just ended up here. <laughs> yeah, it is the worst. Oh, I should have just left well enough alone. It's fine. That's how you know it's homemade. Yeah, but. What did I do here? Oh, I did one when I shouldn't have. Frog, frog, frog. Oh, wait, that's only two. <laughs> dur, dur, dur. Ow, ow. Okay. Come on, Marty, pull it together. Oh, snap. Again. 
Here we go. Will you for real? Okay, listen. Oh, you make me so happy. I'll tell you what. I'm going to, oh, email. My email is up on the screen. Send me a uh, an email so that we can get together and, and work that out. Thank you so, so, so much. Ah, uh, well, that I think spilled crayons is awesome, really. What yarn are you using? Miss Karen. Sloth love. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Thank you so, so much. Okay. I've never used um, Karen. I've used uh, Karen. I used it to make a hat and a scarf for my brother this past winter. What'd you think of it? I didn't too bad. I had some problems with um, the yarn occasionally splitting, but it was in certain areas. Other areas were fine. And it's like, I don't know if I just had, a, I, you know, one skein for the hat and a skein and a half for the... Uh, scarf so i didn't have any problems when i did the hat it was the scarf that i ended up running into problems so i'm wondering if i just had a bad skein i'm even gonna have enough on this one are you freaking kidding me <gasps> yeah i gotta take it out talk on it how frustrating it's fine. We're fine. It's all. Oh, wait, maybe I can make it. I say as I rip it out. It's crochet. No one will notice if you put an extra knot in here or there. I will notice. And like I, the colors don't even match. But I think I can work with it. I'll just do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's fine. We're fine. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's in the camp with Marty? Gotta have it just so. <laughs> is anybody else a crochet perfectionist? Or is it literally just me? Anybody? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do it. it depends on my mood. Sounds like the story of my life. Except it's all the time. Like, I just... I had... Okay, so I told myself that I was going to make my kids a sweater. Or something for Christmas. Um, I got my oldest son sweater done, um, which turned out really freaking good. And then I went to make my other son his. That didn't go very well because I didn't, I got halfway through with the, what do you call that? 
the first panel on the front uh-huh. of the hoodie and realized it was a lot more in depth than I thought it was as far as like the stitch combinations and stuff. Um, so I quit and I bought another one that was a little bit more simple. And well, I got almost all the way done with the panel, the back panel on that one and spilled my coffee on it. And I gave up. I was done. Were you using acrylic yarn? No, it was a bamboo oh. cotton. Oh, man. Yeah. I did acrylic on the first one. The second one I did the. Kiss coffee on acrylic. It'll wash out. <laughs> yeah. I Yes, it does. And I'm horrible. Let's see. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for wanting to share your uh, crochet journey with me. That makes me so, so unbelievably happy. And I do love color. I just I can't do this. Some tiny off changing like I can't. It drives me insane. And you know, the sad thing is I never freaking go anywhere. I am home all the time. I have no intentions of wearing this anywhere. But every time I see it, it's going to bother me. So what's the point? See, I rarely make anything for myself. I almost always make something for somebody else. Even if I don't know who I'm making it for when I start it. Mm -hmm. I will figure it out somebody because by the time I finish it, I just really don't want to see it again. <laughs> So almost everything gets mailed to somebody. I have friends somewhere I can mail this to, and the chances of my seeing it again are slim. <laughs> I have an entire box full of doll babies and and little animals, and I mean it's a big, big box full of these little, I mean, omigurumi, right? Like all kinds of stuff. Um like, I don't know what the heck to do with it. I've given some away, and then they just kind of... How's it going you know, with you selling in the gas stations and such? Well, I'm still getting it. I'm still getting it. Um, I talked to him yesterday. I did get my grid wall, so I finally got my um, display, because I had to provide my own display, obviously. Uh -huh. um, so I got those. I got two grid walls, so I'm not going to be able to get in four stores, but I can do two of the four, um, which is fine because I crochet really, 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 really slow. So I don't really know how that whole thing is going to work. I guess we'll figure that out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that it goes well. I need it. I, I desperately need it to go well. I'm sure it will. I hope Don't so. Remember, some things are a learning process. And if it's not perfect, you learn okay. from it and you make it better. I I I struggle with perfectionism. Like it's it's bad. Not that you've noticed or anything. I know. Yeah. Not that you've noticed, but I, I mean I do. I want everything to be right. But it's not gonna be. Like, I suck at decoration. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I know that it's not going to be what I want it to be. At least not right away. But we'll get there. See, but one of the reasons I don't want to, I don't know about other people, but I don't want to crochet. Like, my friend that I'm making this for has no idea I'm making it for her. She's asked me off and on, you ever make me something? I said, I don't make things for people. I make something and then decide to give it to somebody. I never tell them that I've decided to make them something because it may take me forever. I may get bored or move on to something else or get in, in excited about something else. And who knows how long this whip might sit there before I finally get around to finishing it. So I never tell them. They just suddenly get something. <laughs> Ta -da! Yep. Yeah, after Christmas, I will not be telling anybody that I'm making anything for them 
because I feel absolutely horrible that I have not gotten my kids their stuff yet. Yeah, it takes all the pressure off if you just never tell anybody. They just suddenly get it. They're always so excited. I don't wait for Christmas or anything. When I finally get it done, off it goes. <laughs> See, that's about as perfect as I can get it. That's awesome. <gasps> Yay! How that worked out, I do not know, but I am digging it, y'all. Digging it. This yarn is a little bit strange. Karen, are you a perfectionist? Anybody? Is anybody out there? I want to listen to Pink Floyd. Nah. Is there anyone home? <laughs> she wasn't gonna, she wasn't gonna admit it. <laughs> she was you were gonna let me think it was all just me. Oh sad day. Okay, I have a question for everybody. A lot in the last few years. I'm trying. Okay, should I, like, brace myself? Who are knife holders and who are pen holders? I'm a knife holder. I'm Straight a knife up. holder. Yeah. What about you? Knife holder here. What about... Is it Nona, Noni Panini, Panini, and Karen? What about you guys? Noni Panini. Knife, Knife. Karen. Knife. Okay. Who else is here? I know Nadilla. Nadella, are you still here? We've got Karen. We've got Noni Panoni. I love that name. I just want you to know. We're all knife holders. Yeah. So far. Yep, yep. Lisa, thank you for getting up here with me. Somebody had to. I know. I I'm so okay. <laughs> super happy. Trying to listen and eat. Oh, girl, I'm not trying to mess up. I'm not trying to mess with your food. Not going to do that. No, ma'am. Okay, here's another question. We had a big debate about this at my last uh, fiber arts meeting. Is it skein or skein? Skein. I'm a skein person too. And now it doesn't matter what they answer because it's spelled exactly the same. <laughs> it is. It is. But it's like, tomato, tomato. But she says like, both. both. <laughs> depends on the moment. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it depends on your mood too. <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> First time I heard somebody say skein, I was like, what? Well, you know, I didn't know. I say skein just because I don't, I didn't know what the heck it was called. And it could be either way. Oh, look how she got her name. Aww. Hey, hey, Susan. Feel That's free you. to come and join hey, up here on the stage. Yes, come join us up on the stage. Um, you do not know. have to turn your camera on. You can come on without your camera. See, look, I can stop my camera and you can come up and you can talk. Was corrected and now say skein. Okay. <laughs> well, I like skein better because I don't know. To me, it sounds better. Gray panties. <laughs> <laughs> okay 
Who knew? <laughs> oh, I'm the Italian. I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. 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 Ooh-wee. Miss Susan, would you like to come up here with us? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just throw it on down there. And... Uh, I, that is so funny. I'm going to be thinking about that off and on all night. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> Oi. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> that just tickled the crap out of me. Oh, from a nickname, she just happened to give her dog. Now I'm thinking about the fact that the dog was actually Granny Panties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is so cool. So Susan wants to know what we're working on. So what I'm working on, Susan, is I have this that I'm working on that will be an infinity cowl, which is very lacy and loose and such because I'm making it for a friend who lives in Florida who has absolutely no need for warmth. (laughs) But she'll like the decorative, and I know she'll love the this. Uh, these colors because she's taken now to she's dyeing her hair purple and it looks fabulous on her and she's like I'm, she's in her color era she says she's embracing it so all these bright colors I know she'll love those are such pretty colors though yeah. I am currently working on I am starting a cardigan <laughs> sweater yeah, a cardigan. Um, just for no other reason other than I found some really cool, like, 1980s kind of neonish colors. And I figured, why not? I will probably never wear it outdoors, but I don't care. It will make me happy. You can always give it to somebody else. No, this one is going to be for me. Three, four, five. Doesn't it occasionally in the winter times get in, uh, get a little bit cold in Georgia? It does. It does. I run cold anyway. I get chilled my arms. Mm-hmm. So I'm. That's why I always have a sweater on the back of my chair. Mm-hmm. I've got one right over there. <laughs> I guess. I mean, today in Texas it was eighty, and what did I do? That's right. I'm making a poncho because that's the number I rolled on my D20. <laughs> what is D20? It's a dice <laughs> with 20 sides. <laughs> you had 20 things you could make? Explain that. Did you, did you assign each number of the dice to a specific thing or did you have it broken down into, yeah. you know, numbers one through five or this? Tell me, because I am digging that random thing. I agree. Nadella, Nadella um, yes, I will be rocking it indoors. Mostly because my favorite sweater, I have worn it so much. That I'm scared it's gonna fall apart. I gotta, wear, I gotta start wearing something else because I will cry if my little favorite sweater just goes away. So it got up to eighty here today, and yet, oh, she did make a list. I still had my sweater on earlier. That's really cool. 
cool. What were some of the other things that were on your list? That is really cool. Yes, it is. Where do you get dice like that anyway? You can get them on Amazon, right? You can get anything on Amazon. Everything on Amazon. What are they for? Like D and D games is what they were originally for. I don't. I think I don't know. Huh? Well, it's what we used them for when we were in college. Okay. But I'm interested in what some of the other options might have been. That's right. Me too. I mean, I pulled this yarn out of my stash and went, hmm, I think maybe because it's kind of thin, you know, supposed to be medium weight. But it's really, honestly, if I were to look at it, it looks thin to me. I would not have guessed this was a four. I would have thought this was more like a three because it's so thin. Several shawls from Bag of Days, some tops, blankets, and a dress. Okay. The pink pot holder was one. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to make that. I am going to make that. See all them pinks right there? They have pink <laughs> written all over them. Gonna make me a piggy pot holder. Okay. Look what I have. <gasps> Aw, is that one of the squishy ones? Yee! It's a stress pig. <laughs> you can squish it. It's made, got like sand or something in it. You can oh, squish it. My boss let it do it. it. And I spend more time putting him back into shape after I do something like that. And it works out great because I can be in a meeting, which I'm really bored with, and I can do something with him, pull his nose way out or whatever, and then I sit there and push him all back in place. <laughs> oh, screwed up. Shoot. He sits here on my desk. I'm good. Yes. It's happening. It's, it's going down like that. Yes, yes, yes. And I totally, I can't believe I did that. You'll have to make a tutorial on it. I can't. Oh, make a tutorial on it. It's uh, but I can do a pattern review. There you go. I can do that. I can give credit where credit is due. Yes, ma'am. You can show what you made. That's right. Oh, wait, Marty. Okay, let's frog because Lisa was talking. She wasn't paying attention. I'm supposed to be working in back loops, not front. <laughs> you pulled a Marty. We all wanted to see Marty's pot holder, so she's gonna have to make a, a video I'm with make it. it. Matter of fact, I will. You judge. could modify it and make it a cow. Mm. Now she probably has one of those two. Bag of Days got so many, so 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 many. Like I could, I, I, I think I could probably spend an entire week going through nothing but her videos and still never get through all of them. Modify and make it a cow. I could. My niece would love that, right? Especially if it was a Highland cow. Okay, but if to make it a Highland cow, you would have to make it shaggy. Who wants a shaggy potholder? <laughs> you do. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Um, did I do that right? I'm so not good at. I thought making granny squares would be easier for this little thing, and I am not so sure that was the right way to go. But I'm rolling with it. It's, it's happening. She's got over. Thirteen hundred now. Maybe that's wow. what I'm saying. Like, there's no way I would make it through all of them, but I can definitely do a pattern review and then link to it 
so people can go check it out for themselves. And show how huge yours looks. That's right. Me and Granny Squares are huge right now. I'm feeling Aren't like in the good? 70s. I mean, it's like, holy moly, they're everywhere. Girl, I just made two, I made two bags with Granny Squares that I'm going to send to the, one looks like a little purse and the other one's like a crossbody kind of uh, bag. holder bag thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, they turned out pretty cute. But yeah, Granny Squares are definitely in. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I could ever wear granny square anything outdoors. I, I don't, I, I don't think that I could do that. Red heart brought it back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I look at those garden squares and I look at some of these people, this, and some of these people are wearing them and they look great and everything, but the flashes through my head is the seventies. And I think about, you know, all the things that we were doing then, you know, thank goodness it was before the internet. Nobody has any film to prove um, what we did. <laughs> it is so identified with that time period in my brain. It is? Yeah. 60s and 70s. Heck yeah. But it's, I don't know. It's all of that. Has anybody tried the Red Heart Granny Square yarn? I have not. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews. Yeah, I haven't. I mean, I I generally, I don't use variegated yarn because I am a perfectionist. So Obviously, like I have no problem with that. <laughs> so I want to know how you can get the stripes to look so... Just Basically how they perfect. It's how it lays out on its own, itself doing it. See, I think that's awesome. Which is why I like the the the, the variegated yarns and stuff. I have thought about <laughs> trying the the granny square yarn just to see what happens if you just crochet it straight. But you should just to see what would happen. I'm curious do, because do everybody keeps one. trying to do all of these squares and then they're like, Oh, I had to change my tension. Oh, I had to change my hook, you know, before yes, I like, heard that a lot. Right. Cause it's gotta be just, yeah. See, Karen loves variegated yarn too. Well, if I can get this to work, we'll try. But my only other experience was the red heart stripes. Um, and I think it was the primary stripes. And I was not, absolutely not impressed. That I was borderline angry with it because I bought, what, six skeins of it so that I could make my grandson something and ended up rolling it into a ball and tying it to the point where he used it as a ball. It was a waste of money. Uh... I hate Granny it. panties like variegated also. I'm sorry, Lisa. that's gonna stick in my head. <laughs> Lisa, I can't help it. I'm bad. I'm so no, bad. don't listen to her. <laughs> don't, don't listen to her. It's okay. So you didn't Aww. like the, the that's the the stripes, huh? Aww. Do you have a favorite yarn you like to work with? Does anybody have a favorite yarn they like to work with? I'm still exploring. I have most of my most of my experience is either Red Heart Super Saver or the Bernat Super Value, but I have used the Lion Brand, the skein skein tones. Uh huh. I, I do like that. It's just freaking expensive. I like the way that it feels, but I think it's a little bit too rich for my blood at this point. It my favorite yarn at the moment to work with is the Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I'm making myself a shawl using the natural brown and the tweed uh, on it. And oh, I'm telling you, it just feels so good on the hook. I've never used wool anything. So. 
prefer, I prefer a curl like a cotton. <laughs> I like the bamboo cotton blend. Gr Granny panties forgave me. <laughs> I'm going to get put in time out. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> she is on fire, on fire. See, somebody <laughs> needs to come up here so that we can. Somebody needs to come kick me out. <laughs> no, not kick you out. Make me behave. Join. Yes, come join, join us. Okay, listen, I got a question. I got to ask y'all. I got to ask you. What kind of videos do you want to see? Oh, you're leaving? Oh! Mm -hmm. Sad day. All right, Karen, I will see you next week. Hopefully. Karen, yes. quick, what kind of videos do you like? If nothing else, send her an email. Yes, yeah, send me an email and let me know. I want to make stuff that you want to watch. And I am going to make stuff that I want to make too, but I want to make stuff you'd like to watch. Y'all are my people. You know what I thought was really fun of the uh, ones that you you did? Is that one where you guys were doing the Frankenstein thing? Yeah. That was a lot of fun, the mashup. Yes, Granny Panty wants to know when is your time, date and times for your uh, lives. Yes, every Monday at six o'clock Eastern time. So, bye, Karen. Tutorials, okay. I love that because you guys came up with such different things. I watched both of your videos. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah, that was neat. I mean, uh, I thought you were making a hummingbird, actually. Well, I, um, yes, but the booty didn't look like a hummingbird. I don't know what the heck it was. It turned out cute. <laughs> it did. Um, it was, yeah, I went through a lot of different trial and error because originally I was going to do like a scorpion kind of a, a thing. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. And then I just decided on, I don't know where that came from, but. I look so cute. I was pretty impressed with it. It made me happy. It did make me happy. Yeah, that was fun. It was and interesting. I thought about doing another like mashup, kind of like a random mashup design kind of a thing. Tutorials. What kind of tutorials? Nadella. Because I like I I think the thing that gets me stuck is that I have, I do a lot of amigurumi as far as like pattern designs, but I'm, I'm also into all kinds of other things. So, um, uh, trying to narrow it down when my interests are really broad is really difficult for me. I get stuck <laughs> in perfectionist mode. Like, I don't know which one. We'll have to send you a, di one of those dice with the 20 sides and you'll have to make a list and then roll. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Can you send it by email? Because <laughs> I would totally be down for that. I have, um, matter of fact, do it. no, it's over there. But I have a, a, I don't know how they do like the random or how to like the spin things. I don't know. Oh, uh -huh. but I just decided I was going to write all kinds of things down. I've got a list of different animals and a list of different colors and a list huh? of like random things. Okay. Everything. See you and I, we're like, we're like that. Take it in. Okay. All right. That's cool. Maybe we'll just have to design something. Something. Um, but I decided, like I did the uh, drawing the other uh, couple weeks ago for the winners. 
I think I will just do that and just randomly pick out, okay, we're going to do this and this and, and mash it all together and see what I come up with. I don't That'd know. That'd be cool. I know. I, it's kind of low tech, but... Um, it works. <laughs> what else to do? I don't know what else to do. It's I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> it works. Fine. It works. Yeah. I think I got that on the, uh, I'll probably film that this weekend, this coming weekend. There we go. Uh-oh, wait, 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 whoa, pump your brakes. Okay. So that's it. Hey, hey, we got a new person here. Hey, Ivy. Woo -woo. What is that? Okay. If you click on that link, that'll take you to Amazon. And you can see the D20 dice there. They've got a whole pack of six of them. <laughs> you know, you could buy anything on Amazon. It won't let me click on it. Oh. Hold on. I'm just going to put it up like that. And No, it won't. Let me click on it. Oh, maybe after. I don't know. <sighs> Ivy, what are you working on? Ivy, you can come up here with me. I know you're not um, nervous about being on camera. Although, you can get up here and have your camera off. See? That is correct. Just click on that little link she put there. Marty put this lovely link. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Marty's hanging. Hook. Marty's party line. <laughs> Marty's hanging hook. Come on down. <laughs> oh my Ivy, you weren't here. You haven't found out what. I'm trying to be a good girl. Nanny's name means. It just, it just tickles me pink. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's good. That's about right, right? God, my tension is all over the place. It's fine. We're fine. It's all fine. It's fine. We're fine. Oh, go away. Why in the world is... Okay, so my inner fat girl, something is wrong with her. Like, who gets texts from Taco Bell? Like, seriously. I don't even like Taco Bell. Oh, did you have their app or something? No, it was, I think it was DoorDash. Oh. Because I do like DoorDash. But it said something about Taco Bell. I was like... I've never ordered from Taco Bell. Why, why, why? Why? I don't know. I get emails or texts from Catherine's all the time. And I and I get texts from almost every day from Webs and Yarn Inspiration uh, and all that. And I keep, I keep needing to go take a, off. But, you know... I don't want to because what if I miss a really good sale? A really good sale. Yes, <laughs> girl. I mean, I honestly don't know how long we're going to be on today. I don't know. We're just kind of rolling with the punches. It's been a lot more quiet today. I don't know. I've had a lot of fun today. We've had a really good conversation today. <gasps> no need. 
<laughs> See, now you're doing it. It's not just me. <laughs> she has yeah. entertained us to no end. That is correct. That is correct. I come from a family of teasers, man. I just can't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> You're rallying with the yarn balls. <laughs> Donating gifts. You got people donating gifts for her, yes? I think that's so awesome. The whole birthday party thing. I think that's freaking awesome. Hello, Lisa. What's your screen name on here? It depends on what account I... No, for me. She's getting a party gifts for herself. That's a great way to throw a birthday party. You throw the party for somebody else so that you get gifts. You get I, I really gifts. don't think yeah. that's a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I used to do that when my kids were young. We called those cocktails after the party. <laughs> <laughs> they were awesome. <laughs> you know, because every year the kids would have their party and afterwards it was grown folks time. And we kind of did our own little thing. And yeah, the cocktails were great. <laughs> did I do this wrong? How come I'm always... Okay, I didn't mean to. Think I did. Okay. <laughs> Excited if you come out. Sorry. Don't be it's sorry. been going down like that all night, Ivy, all night long. You Welcome need to come to up party. on stage. You don't have to turn your camera on, but come up on stage. She ain't scared of the camera. Girl, come on you now. Can, come on. You come up here and you can and help entertain people. Bring the funny side with you. You know. Your little or Noni has been having to entertain us all by herself. <laughs> Right for see Rome folks, yes, yes, that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm just saying. We celebrate their birthdays, but good grief, we celebrate them getting to that next birthday. We deserve some celebration for that too. Sure, we do. Come on yes. up. <laughs> I don't know about y'all kids, but mine put me through. They, they gave they gave it to me. You don't need a witch up there. I'm already here, baby. What you talking about? See, nice to have some witchy company. She says yes too. Yes. Don't let me get to having my little cocktails. And then put my music on because I love me some classic R&B. Oh, my goodness. I will be off in my own little corner of the world dancing, drinking, dancing. And I got no rhythm. But when I'm drinking, I don't care. I dance anyway. That's the one. Yeah. And now that I'm getting older, I pay dearly for it for the next several days. But... <laughs> It's fine. God, is that not the truth? <laughs> oh, you meant yes to the kids driving you batty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. it showed up right after she said you don't want a witch up there. <laughs> the next thing was yes. She said yes. She voted yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. This feels good because I didn't get any crochet done at all this last week. Not even on the weekend. See, that's what Mondays are for, right? Dedicated crochet time, hanging out, chilling. That was a knee slopper. <laughs> oh, 
please. <laughs> oh no, Marty. Pump your brakes, girl. Pump your brakes. No, drive faster. No. I'm going to run off the road. And then I'm going to have to frog everything again. You know I will. Break, Marty. Slow down a little bit. I get it. I fogged a few things because I was supposed to be doing back loops and I ended up doing front loops. So, you know. It's okay. <laughs> Look at all the cute little frogs. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Oh, you got it. I wonder if I can get a whole nother square out of this color. That would be freaking cool. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. If not, I'll be ripping it out too. So, Ivy, what did you mean by what's your screen name? Because I don't understand what you're asking. Um, like, <clears throat> Ivy says Ivy B Creates. That's her screen name. Oh. oh. And uh, <laughs> Noni for Noni. That's her <laughs> screen name. Oh, um, okay. Well, I think it it's coming up since I logged in. It's coming it up is. with my it's, actual it name now. Lisa, Lisa Bond, right? Yeah, that's my actual name. I'm like, you know, crazy person comes over here, join the party. That's right. That is correct. Come on in. Pull up a seat. Gather your crazy. Let's freaking eat something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm getting rummy. Uh, so last weekend, um, this weekend, I say last weekend because it was so freaking long ago. My grandson wore me smooth out. And it's taken me. I'm trying to sub to you, but can't uh, find you. I don't um, know what subbing is. Uh, subscribe to your channel. Oh, I don't have a channel. <laughs> I just came along to the... I ran across Marty's. I like Marty's stuff that she was doing. I follow a lot of different people. But I don't actually have a YouTube channel. I've never done YouTube. Other than, well, Marty wanted somebody to come up on stage with her. And everybody else was being too quiet. And I thought, well, mm. um, I'm not exactly sane, so what the hell? <laughs> Even Ivy doesn't want to come up here. I promise I took a shower today. Like, I don't smell bad. Do I smell bad, Lisa? Mm -mm. I can't smell it from here if you do. See, that's what I'm saying. And you already discussed that you only nibble. I you know. never really bite. Yeah, I don't really bite too much because, like, I didn't glue my teeth in down. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't glue them down good. So, like, I'm not going to bite very hard. It's your breath. <laughs> Damn, I keep forgetting that part. Oh, yeah, that's brushing the teeth thing. It's, it's important. <laughs> that's my wait, 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 wait. I call that hover, hover, hover. It keeps me afloat. No. Can't 
my breath. <laughs> I can't put you in a corner till you come up here. You're probably pretty safe. She should have put me in the corner when I kept going on and on about granny panties. And she didn't, so. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I happen to have an affinity with uh, minor troublemakers. I we have the most fun not... in life. Huh? We have the most fun in life. Well, I may or may not completely get along with them. <laughs> may or may not. Depends on my mood. Who was it that was Karen, right? That was talking about, uh, it depends on her mood. I loved that. Loved that. Because I don't know about y'all, but I am totally emotionally driven. Well, that's why I have so many, usually so many whips. Same. What am I in the mood for today? You know, although I don't feel like working on that. <laughs> surprisingly, at the moment, I have only two. This and the shawl. I finished my thing for my brother and mailed it off. And, you know, I know something. I have a couple of amigurumi kits that I got for myself to try. That are just sitting there. And sooner or later, I'm going to open one of them and try it. To see if what I like it. They? Is that the Woobles? Uh, or is it a different kind of kit? It's a different, different one. Hang on. Uh, one of them that I got is called Hook a Doll, and it's supposed to have a gnome in it. Hook a Doll? That's what it's called. Hook a Doll. Okay. And it's at, uh, I couldn't hope to pronounce that. Hook a Doll? <laughs> I mean, what? What are you even into, Lisa? <laughs> that was a good one. And then, unbeknownst to me, because I had been talking about doing one of these, my husband went and got me this, which came in almost at the same time. And this is supposed to be... I think it's a, a Christmas stocking is what this is supposed to be. Oh, okay. So at some point I will start them. But at the moment, they're just sitting there. They haven't even made it to the crochet corner that I normally sit in. <laughs> they're just, they come in here and dropped them off in my office and they're still sitting here. <laughs> He's like, here you go, honey. Here you go. So He's when are you going to start your hooker doll? <laughs> I mean, I want to know because now I'm invested. I don't know. <laughs> when I'm in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to get in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <clears throat> Noni, my, 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 it looks like it's going to come from Italy, just like her name. <laughs> okay. I didn't pay any attention to the colors. I like that. So, oh, Ivy, oh my gosh. Look, Yay! everybody knows I'm a little slow on the draw. I catch up eventually. Hey, baby. I'm just, I'm just waving. 
Well, I was uh, otherwise occupied. She's got me talking about hooker dolls, and I'm trying to make <laughs> a, th a thing. <laughs> a, a thing with oh, wait, wait, freaking wait. neon wait, wait, wait. yarn, like the 90s and there. 80s and okay. stuff. And I'm like, dope. Oh. Hello, everyone. Please forgive me. I just woke up from a nap. I don't, I can't take a 20 minute nap. <laughs> me either. It's like five hours. How do you wake up from a nap and not be completely bitchy? I mean, how do you wake up from a nap and not be so, when I wake up, is cranky. I'm cranky. Oh, I'm not. Why? Name her Roxanne. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, <laughs> I am not. That song's gonna be in my head all freaking night. Yep. Roxanne. You know, in a bar, play that song, and every time they say Roxanne, you gotta take a shot. Oh my god, we got drunk in one song. <laughs> Wait, no, we can't do that on YouTube, y'all. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I, I don't drink anymore. I don't drink anymore either. Too many medications. You know how it is when you get older. Hi, Vicky. A little bit. Sometimes. <laughs> we have a party going on in here. You betcha. We, we do. Join us on the stage. Come on up. Yeah. We just got I a hooker doll. And I was inquiring about the doll. Because she's not to, making the doll yet, and I just you need to create a hooker doll. <laughs> there you go. Why don't you design one? <laughs> Hell. Oh. I might. I'm more funnier in the chat. Huh? I'm more funnier in the chat. Hey, Vicky, you want to come up here? Come on, Vicky. I came up here. Come on. And I just woke up. She just woke up. Camera shy. Uh-uh. Look, you can have your camera off. You don't have to turn your camera on, but at least we can hear your voice. Me too. I'm shy. Lies. <laughs> All lies. You don't know me very well, do you? See, look, I turned my camera off. You can come on up anyhow. We you can do one where, on. yeah, let's just do one where we turn the camera off. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I ain't got control. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. You yeah, have you have control did. over your own camera. I'll look at you looking all coy. <laughs> there you go. See? Come on, Vicky. How do you get your, how do you get your, uh, picture up there like that ivy you go over to your thing and it says uh, uh, change avatar or change picture then you find a picture that you want and you upload it bullet journaling nadilla what is bullet journaling you already took your bra off girl i cannot wait to do that like literally you just echoed my thoughts for it's fine. <clears throat> and then again, if your camera's off, how would we know? But thank you, yeah, Granny Panties, for telling true. us that. <laughs> oh, Granny Panties. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am live. Oh, God. Uh, uh, are we giving out nicknames now? Uh, no. We'll let her explain. <laughs> no, let's not and say we did. It's It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, Vicky, I am actually making a cardigan or I'm attempting to make a cardigan. I've never actually made one before and I don't even have a pattern. I'm just doing it. Um, that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Are you doing it with granny squares? I am. I am because I've only got, I've only got three of these. And I have all a lot of these color. Uh -huh. Anyway, they're over there. So I'm going to mix them and match them. 
it's going to be ugly as sin and I'm going to be so happy. So happy. ugly as sin. Yeah. Yep. Great. I you know, like the, never mind. Taking Stop. out the concept. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh. Um, I don't know if you know Margie's Crafty Corner. I think that is. She does journaling. And um, I want a journal book from her. They are so gorgeous. Look, I don't even want to write in it. It's like beautiful. I just don't want to write in it. I don't want to mess it up. I got like 10 of them. <laughs> yep. This is the second year I bought it. And this is the second year that I haven't touched. Well, I, I started to. And I was like, but it ruins it. I just miss the smell of books, like real honest to God books. Because oh. everything is so digital. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying? Not. Like, oh, look, it's a big. <laughs> got it. I got to leave. It's an door. otter. It's an otter. Oh. <laughs> okay. yeah, I'm like, I got to leave that alone. <laughs> She said, "How oh, you can you can do it?" And I sat here looking at it, and it's like, "Oh, hey, let me put my otter up there." I like it. A mandala blanket. Oh, cool! I want to make me one of those. I love it. I want to make a sweater with, uh, yeah, not a oh, sweater. Yeah. Something that I can wear, like throughout the year not just it because we don't get hot we don't get cold enough here for me to have a whole ton of sweaters oh she's caking she's a caking what is is there a difference between that and the spinner thingies is that you the uh, swift is what if you a cake yeah, it goes around and around. That's what you put a hank on. But if you have yarn that's in a skein or skein, skein whichever, then you can still turn it into uh, a cake. It just pull, you just use for the center pole and pull it through. And you can still turn it into a cake if you want. I want to show you what I was working on. I'm trying yeah. to make a, but, a butterfly out of beads. It didn't quite work. So then I said, okay, I'll just turn it into a pendant. <laughs> oh, that's wow, pretty. Wow, wow. Ain't that pretty? That's pretty. I'm trying to get that looks from. like a I was thinking the butterfly. Like a moth. That's a you know point. Those really pretty moth is. Well, it's gotta I gotta do this side too. Oh that's the, that's the point of the one wing. Then you do a point of another wing, and then you do it, repeat it over here. Oh, man. But I and thought then you guys do the two little really antenna pretty. thingies. Yeah, ain't that cute? Yeah, it's that it's is so gorgeous down. colors. And then I did this. I think it's gorgeous. The bracelet. Oh, oh wow! So much sure. talent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because there's no way I could do that. But let me tell you what happened. Remember last week, I think I told you I have to get, do, well, I had six pins that had to go out, beaded pins. Yeah. I got four of them done, went to one order. I went through my, my address book. She had a P.O. box. I sent them to the P.O. box. She no longer has the P.O. box. Oh, no. So who knows who got it? We're waiting. Fingers crossed. Pray every minute that whoever got them will send them back. But I, know uh, links to. I mean, if you got a package in a purple package, you know it's a gift from somebody and there's a gift in there and I'm going to open it up and oh, wow, look what Miss Ivy sent us. Oh, they're beautiful. I think I'll keep them. You might get a never thing. know. They might not open it. They might look at it, who it's addressed to, and go, oh, and, you know, turn mm -hmm. it over. So I would like to say that I believe that humanity is that nice, but that doesn't always. Yeah. 
I, I I used to think that too, but that you know, at sixty one years old, you stop believing in uh, unicorns. I okay? still don't believe you. I want a <laughs> driver's license. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I am sixty one. I was born in nineteen sixty three. Do the math. One, two. First of all, Marty doesn't math unless I'm counting for a stitches. Second of all, you can say whatever you want. I want to see a driver's license. I will not believe you until then. Like, I'm the bartender. I'm carding you. I'm hey, a bartender. I'm, I'm 61 too, so I get it. There you go, smarty see? pants. And I'm a hooker lady. Sit your butt down and take my I am going to withdraw the string of exploratives that I can say. Girl. My hair is this color because of my hairdresser. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do my hair. I gave up with that a long time ago. I do have gray. On the yeah, side so here. do I. I just have it covered up. So you can't tell. <laughs> and that's my hairdresser. I gave up. Yeah, I'm 61. Just turned 61 in February. Yes, wow. Thank you, Noni. I didn't say thank you up there where you said that's beautiful, Ivy. That bracelet, yeah. That's I think I'm gonna Vicky I think I'm gonna do this as a giveaway for Jen's birthday party tomorrow. Would let me get opinion. Would you be upset if you received something? I'm not gonna say cheaply made because it takes you it took me about six hours to do that. You mean handmade? Handmade. No, because so, look. My channel is a craft channel, actually. I do everything. Well, not everything. I don't. Um, 46. Um, but it's mostly uh, not my channel. I do everything. But, you know, people that come to it is mostly yarn related. Okay. And I like to do things different. Ivy, your people love you for you. You've got a lot of people that dig you. It doesn't have any. I mean, the yarn might be a bonus. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yarn is a bonus. I cover but mine it, up. <laughs> I, <laughs> but I mean, it. Mine's getting messy. It's fine. Um, but they're there for you because you're freaking awesome. And those, I know those beaded pens were beautiful. That bracelet is gorgeous. I can't imagine anyone knees? being upset. Wait, getting it. What? Knees? Yeah, when you start getting older, your knees. Yeah, they do go. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you said that because I was like, what? Are talking <laughs> I'm still stuck on the hooker doll and she's talking about <laughs> knees. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Mm, this is where I start running everybody off. It's so you don't run people off. You make them walk slowly off. <laughs> Gracefully exit stage left. Oh, Can you see look that? At that. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait. You're getting there, aren't you? Are you it, it's not almost done, is it? Oh, you've got the piano key started, yeah? Yeah, I got the key started. I know you really can't see the note. I can yeah, see. you can somewhat. Yeah, I think I got it twisted a little bit. But that's uh, number two weight yarn. <gasps> Don't fall. Oh, the kids are bouncing off the walls. Bye. Oh. Actually, think? I probably should go too since my, my my hubby just wandered in from his work. <laughs> so we got to figure out what we're going to eat tonight. So okay. maybe tacos since somebody brought it up earlier. Your dash. <laughs> I <laughs> cannot do tacos. We're out, in the, we're out we're in the do. country. They won't door dash though where we're at. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, we just barely got that. Like, uh, COVID was the first time anybody started delivering out here. And I still can't get Domino's to deliver out here, but it's fine because DoorDash will go to Domino's and pick them. 
pick it up for me. We don't get no DoorDash. We don't get no Domino's. We don't get no nothing. Nobody will deliver to us. We're out out too far out of town. On it. Bye, Nadila. I'm going to go. You all carry on with your craziness. All right. <laughs> Take nice to meet you. Here. Yeah. Bye. I want to know when you start your I know. I wish I would, too. Otherwise, I'll let you know, know when I start the hooker doll. <laughs> Nikki, I agree. I wish they would too. Mm -hmm. That Bye. would be nice. Boy, I can't believe it's already a quarter after eight. Quarter, yeah. yeah. Say, it's after seven here. Yeah. I got. Uh, Got to do all these. I actually, I got three. I got three done tonight, so that wasn't bad. I started my April gnome for the blanket, the repeat crafter me gnome for all year, one one a month. Yeah. And do a blanket. So I got my April started. Of course, when I start something, I. It's like gotta finish. I started it. <laughs> then I kept going and going, and at about seven o'clock this morning, it's like I'm done with it. So I stayed up all night long trying to get it done. Me bad. Oh no! My grandson wore me out this weekend. I'm over it. Seriously, over it. I can't do toddlers anymore. Um. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it, but golly, he really does. Mm -hmm. He puts it on me, and he's so stinking cute, but golly, all that energy, like, where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. where, and it's like, when he gets tired, he gets even more energy. Like, where is this? You're digging in the deep, dark depths. Can you show me how to do that? <laughs> you used to be that way one time. I believe that yes, you're right. <laughs> I believe that yes, you're right. It wasn't up until what? I guess maybe six, five or six years ago. When it started. I think mine hit. Mine hit me with the slowdown is when I retired. I wasn't in that. I got to get up at a certain time. Um, be at work at a certain time, get my clothes laid out for the day before you, you totally, I hated it for two years. I hated it. I could not grasp onto it. I was begging to go back to work. I could not get in. Now I don't want to go to work. Leave me alone. I can go to bed when I want to sleep when I want to take a nap when I want to, you know, just now I'm loving it, but it was hard at first. You won't, it, it was different, very different. I don't know. Yeah, I well, yeah, I think it's when when COVID shut everything down, and I had to stay home. That was difficult. Mm -hmm. All my nice stuff gets stolen from me. <laughs> oh, I hit my. Oh no. I know. Oh, no. Um, my grandkids, when they come over, they look for all the amigurumis. But if I put them in boxes and put them up over here, they don't go through the boxes. It's the only. So I made a basket. So when they come over, they can take out of the basket and not my other stuff. They don't know the other stuff. Me too, Vicky. Me too. No, Me I too. want to go back to work, but 61 year old going back to work, that sounds crazy. I feel you. I feel you. Because I do miss interacting with customers and, you know, I am a people person, but I'm a camera shy person. Does that make any sense? You do not strike me as a camera shy person. I'm, I would. It took me two years to go on go live. Two I years. Think it's easier to go live than it, I 
do to actually make videos videos. I find it much easier to go live. I like it much better. I feel more comfortable. The thing was, you're old enough to know uh, back in the day, if you was caught in a bedroom talking to yourself, what did mommy and daddy think? Yes. Somebody's Lulu. We got to go, you know, go check her out. So now we sit here and we talk to a now little video camera. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> we call it content. <laughs> yes. So now it's okay to be talking to a, no one, actually. You're talking to yourself. My husband will say, are you live? No, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta hide the nice stuff. Mm. In my place for a week. Y'all, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna wrap this up. Cool, because I was. Yeah. Sorry, I was late. My naps didn't. My naps lasted way too long. <laughs> now I'll be up all, all night now. I need to probably brush my, I can't believe that I came live with my hair looking like this, but I do need to look at mine. record a video. So I probably should, I don't know, make it look like I, you it, look like Marty. Don't change. I do. You know what? It, it's wild and funky and it's fine. Like I do yeah. own a brush. I don't. Yeah. We're just going to let that <laughs> And Where is it? Uh, it's under a pile of yarn over here. Over yonder, if you go <laughs> in this and you look, it's it's there. It's there. Yeah, it's there. It's fine. Okay. Well, I'm glad you had me up. Ivy wants to. I'm work. glad you came I'm up normal. here. Ivy wants yeah. to work. All right. You let you say you good your goodbyes. Bye, y'all. Thank you. I will see everybody next week. Yes. I want a vacation. Good <laughs> time. Right. Y'all. Bye. We'll see y'all later.